Today, we continue with the existing workshop. I will share with you how to automatically send a notice email to candidate upon he or she submit the application form. To accomplish this, we need to configure an action and workflow. And also, we need an additional column to handle this. So let's add a new column in the candidate Excel file. Let's add the new column at the last and name the column as email sent. This column is a number type, is used for sending email and recording the number of emails sent. Let's back to app sheet and configure the newly added column in data. Regenerate the structure to reload the Excel. Once completed, we may start to configure the email sent column. First, set the data type as number. Then disable the show option. Because we are not going to show this column in the app. Next, set the initial value as zero in the auto compute section. All right, the newly added column is ready to use. Remember, save and verify the data. Let's add an action and behavior. This is the action that I have to send a notification to the candidate. First, enter a new for the action. And then, set the table as a candidate. In the do this option, select set the values of some columns in this row. While in the set these column options, select the email sent column. And set the formula as email sent plus one. This formula will always increase the value of the email sent column by one. Next, turn on the need confirmation option. And set the confirmation message. Now, the email action is ready. Let's proceed to configure the workflow. Add a new workflow and name it as send email to candidate. Then set the target data as candidates. Set the update EBIT as update only. And, we need to set the condition to run this workflow. The formula in the condition is to verify. If the email sent column is not blank, and the value is changed, then this workflow will be run. Remember to save the condition. Lastly, configure the do this option. Give a name for the workflow action. Next, set the recipient email. As we would like to send the email to the candidate. So we shall set the recipient as the candidate's email. By enter the email column name and closed with brackets. Let's back to the workflow action setting. Enter the email subject. For BCC, it is optional, but I always enter my email address here. Next, set the email body template and the attachment template. Both of this template is in doc format. Like this. As you see from the screen, some of the text is enclosed with double angle quotes and brackets. Actually, it is the column name and it is a variable. The output of this variable will be replaced with the value in Excel. The attachment template is same as the email body template. After the template is ready, enter the name for the attachment. And then, set the orientation as portrait, and the page size as A4. Done, let's save the project. Oops, one step is left out. As we want the app to automatically send the email, right after the candidate submit the application form. We shall change the event actions as send notification. The setting is in the candidate's forms behavior section. All right, let's test out the function.
This is the confirmation message that we set. Click the button to continue to send notifications. Let's check the email. Email is received. If the email body and the attachment content doesn't meet your requirement, we may further edit the format in the doc file. So now you know how to configure the automatically sending email. In the next video, I will further extend the functionality of this app to arrange the interview session of the candidate with the interviewer. So don't miss it.